Hey what's up? Hey what's up guys? Today we have a Galakrand Rogue versus a Highlander Rogue. So this is gonna be quite an interesting matchup. So this item will gun the uh, the Alex Shazza is just too big and I get an ambush which um which is good because it could help me stabilize the early game. So I go Dragon Sword, that's the only option I have really. It's in one and quite some interesting options here. So I'm thinking I'm I mean at this point I, I don't know what rogue this is and I'm thinking if it's if it's a fish rogue then um, I'm gonna have to I'm not gonna be able to use the Tyrion or the Nazari because I'm gonna be dead by two needs and two ten so uh, I choose Kotka as the safest option. So um, I guess it's it's an option next in but um, uh, I'm think I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna play the ambush and maybe if he hero powers next in um, then I could probably play the card card but he plays fire card so um, most likely when he sees the card card he's gonna he's gonna try to kill it with probably weapon swing and um, the fire card but I go the ambush anyway and he plays his sky battle so. Um, I um, I still play the card car. I mean, um, so it's just to gain some good board presence, and um, I um, I, I'm thinking I'll play the card car. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, if I could probably get a lucky next to that summons, it, I could probably get two minions, but um. It's unlikely. A cruel fate awaits you in the ashes. I place Grey Heart Siege. So makes it so he doesn't kill the card car. But I don't have anything to synergize with the card car, so I go to Vago pick. And um th I think I'm still gonna try to keep the card car alive. Uh, maybe it could have some uses in the future. It could also be an extra body for the faceless corruptor. Um, if I need it on turn 5. So I'm think, I, I think it's gonna at least kill one of these minions this turn. Let's see. And I get this shift. So um, he plays evil miscreants. And he plays the faceless lucky. Which I, which I wish I got. Then he has to actually. So he's a shadow step. Okay, here we go with the evil miscreant shenanigans. So um, I could, I mean the the two drop has to die. So I'm, I'm thinking which which one do I play the face as crop to one? Because I mean I, I could kill the the two the two or three Already dead. but I decided to go face and I'm gonna play the face as corrupt on on it that way I could clear both of the two drops and he already is coins so I don't have to worry about um I have to worry about top the next turn but I decided to. Use the card card because I, I really don't see it being useful anytime in the near future and preserve one extra health on one of the faceless corruptors. So there he goes with evil miscreants again. And you know he's he's building a board here with you know the lackeys and stuff. And uh, he's able to clear one of the faceless corruptors that actually wow he gets a pretty good pipe drop there but I have a sap so I'm still able to control the board but if he has a tall walk on next turn it's gonna be um, pretty bad for me because I mean he, I, I can't clear those lackeys so I'm gonna just have to hope and pray that he doesn't have a tall walk and um, uh, I'll just go for and I'm thinking maybe Kronk's next in and uh, you know get Galakrond maybe if I play early Galakrond with the Lockies I could get ahead 
you know, but it, it all depends on how his stamp goes and what he has in hand and what I draw also. So there he goes, another evil miscreant and um, a six out taunts is now in the way so I think I'm gonna go cross here and I was thinking to swing the wild pick into the evil miscreant which is not bad but it's I mean it, this is just me being greedy it's, it's not optimal because it's a full health Kronk that I'm, I'm getting back you know but um you know, my, you know, he makes me pay for my greediness. You see, this tries it anyway. But um, I mean, I guess still easy waggle pick with the the shiv, you know, or the hana. So I finally get the tall waggle, and uh, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm gonna go the crown, Sarok's crown, um. Rather than the one, now I could go the one, and the one would still be good because you know I have Carter Defender, I have Alex Straza, so I could get pretty good draws off of the um the wand. But I'm thinking if I play Galakrand, I'm, I'm gonna be able to draw um at least two cards, and also you know I I could also start building the board with the Lockies, and you know start filling my hand with you know draconic lackeys and, and stuff like that so i decided to go with the crown and you know the crown could be pretty you know effy you know some crowns are pretty good and some crowns are pretty bad because i mean obviously there's a wide range of legendaries so you know he clears the board and he, he, he plays a really big ad win and he did that win so you know, I, I mean, I also have an Edwin, so I'm gonna lose my Edwin with this shift play. But um, I really need to get rid of that Edwin because of because I'd, I'd be probably be dead next turn. So I decided to go to Crown this turn, and look what we have here. Vargoth. Now the synergy with the Crown and the Vargoth is absolutely bonkers. Like. It's just pretty crazy, especially if you get big minions off of, of the Vargoth casts. So, let's see what we get. It's pretty good. You know, and... To your Sarahs. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. And unless he has a... Unless he, he has a Zephyrus, and it has to be active, he could probably stall the board, but he can't even clear it because you need to be on turn 10 and he would need to get a twisting nether to clear the whole board but you know this this really puts me in control and my gamble actually paid off this turn so i'm thinking i'm um, i'm gonna see what i get off of this and i could pretty much clear the board um with this hand so uh, there we go i'll create a Calcron. and uh, I'm just really gonna try to control the board from now, so he gets a Kronx, but even though he gets a Kronx, I still think I'm, I'm pretty, pretty good, pretty well off, you know, I'll go eviscerate, that would help me control the board, and um, we get a Witchy Lucky, which is actually really good, the next turn. Um, I shadow stop the shift, which is actually, you know, it's, it's not the best play. I mean, I already use my crown, so that's that's one good part of it, but it's just not the best play because, you know, uh, right, there are other crowns, crowns to come, you know, there may be larger minions that, you know, require the shift, but I try to play the witch lucky, but I don't have enough time. But that comes back to my hand, so, um, you know, we have it just in case, you know, we want to use the SR a weekend just as a finisher. But I'm, I'm also pretty low, you know, from taking, from swinging my weapon at such large minions. So, he puts two large stones, which is actually pretty good for him, because now I have to get through these stones, and he could just hit my face, basically. But, um, you know, I, I have enough tools to 
you know, clear the board and once again put me in a favorable position. So I go with Chilaki. Let's see what I get. Wow. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. And apparently it was too good. So he surrenders. Alright, so. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. That's the game for today. Please like subscribe and comment on what you like to see next.